The OnePlus 5T wants to eliminate the mistakes of the OnePlus 5 and offers even more innovations. The price remains the same and we have tested how good the overall package is. I am Christopher for CMM, have fun watching. The OnePlus 5T was provided directly by OnePlus. The link to the official shop can be found in the video description. The OnePlus 5T in Europe costs around 499 euros in the 64 GB version with 6 GB of RAM or 559 euros in the 128 GB variant with 8 GB of RAM. Except for the missing cover letter from Carl Pai, which was in the box of the OnePlus 5, nothing has changed in terms of packaging. The scope of delivery is identical and it's nice to see that a protective cover is included. The design has changed only slightly compared to the OnePlus 5. The OnePlus 5T retains the basic body shape, workmanship and sturdiness that we loved the predecessor for. The main differences that can be found are the size and reposition of the fingerprint scanner. Especially in the height, the OnePlus 5T brings along a few millimeters more due to the larger display in the new format. A fingerprint scanner in round form is now located on the back of the housing, directly above the OnePlus logo. The biggest optical change, however, is the front, which now mainly consists of the screen. The home button is also missing because the fingerprint scanner has been moved to the back. But everything else remains the same. The shape of the front camera, sensors, status LED and earpiece have not changed. The OnePlus 5T with its thickness of only 7.3mm fits very well in the hand and feels somewhat elegant. The weight of only 162 grams is also very comfortable. What OnePlus could have done better is the camera module, which sticks out a lot and causes that the smartphone wobbles when you use it on a table. Now in winter, we have also noticed that the case is somewhat slippery on dry skin. Here, however, the supplied cover provides a remedy and at the same time ensures a more pleasant and not so cold feeling in the hand. What we love is the clicky tactile feedback of the keys, which provide a premium feeling and prevent accidental pressing. The slider aka mute switch is still present and still very easy to use. The display on the OnePlus 5T has become significantly larger with 6.01 inches. The format has been changed to 18x9. Accordingly, the resolution is 2160x1080 and an AMOLED panel with the same features as the previous display is still used. The display is therefore great as usual and depending on the color profile used, you don't notice that it is an OLED panel which tend to deliver candy colors. However, a few typical OLED diseases can still be found in the OnePlus 5T. For example, individual pixels are clearly visible with reduced viewing distance due to the pentile OLED matrix. Furthermore, there is a rainbow effect on the display for very steep viewing angles. However, the brightness is pretty good. With approximately 400 nits, the used panel can become very bright and in combination with the excellent contrast, it can be used under sunlight without any problems. For the display glass, Gorilla Glass 5 was used again, which remained free of scratches during the testing period. The surface offers pleasant gliding properties and is grease repellent. The 10-point touchscreen performs its work flawlessly and shows no weaknesses. Of course, the performance of the OnePlus 5T has not changed, since the hardware base is identical to the OnePlus 5. You get the Snapdragon 835, which is still one of the fastest processors in the Android world. In the OnePlus 5T, the processor can fully show its power thanks to the massive amount of memory. 6GB or 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM are used here, which reach a throughput of around 15GB per second. Smooth multitasking is possible without any problems and even demanding games do not overwhelm the OnePlus 5T at any time. The data memory is also not a bottleneck. You get 64 or 128 GB of memory, which is based on fast UFS 2.1 with dual lane connectivity. The read and write rates achieved with this are very good and especially when starting more complex apps, you do notice the fast memory enormously. The OnePlus 5T does nothing wrong with sensors either and offers a wide range of features, including a very well functioning gyroscope and compass. The fingerprint scanner is extremely fast and reliable despite being of secondary importance. Why the fingerprint sensor is of secondary importance? The OnePlus 5T supports face unlock and this works so well and fast that you don't have to use the fingerprint sensor in about 95% of the cases. Whether it's unfavorable angels, grimaces or difficult lighting conditions, the face unlock feature can be used in almost all cases without any problems. In addition, the unlocking process is so fast that it feels as if you are not using any lock at all. If you press the power button, the home screen will appear immediately without any waiting time, unless an unauthorized person tries to activate the OnePlus 5 of course. 
What's a pity is that the OnePlus 5T doesn't have a real USB Type-C connector according to the 3.1 standard. This is still only a USB 2.0 port which cannot output any video signals. Here OnePlus have missed another opportunity to set itself apart from the competition. At least USB 3.0 would have been a nice to see. We were surprised that the OnePlus 5T still uses Android 7.1.1 because Android Oreo is already running on the OnePlus 3 and 3T. But an upgrade should arrive soon. As usual, the in-house Oxygen OS is used here, which is a pimped stock Android. Visually, it is hardly different from the original version of Google, but here and there it has been pimped with interesting functions, which make sense and do not make the system seem overloaded or confusing. Of course, Oxygen OS supports all major languages and the Play services, including the Play Store, are pre-installed and fully functional. The reception performance of the OnePlus 5T is outstanding, the smartphone can handle all frequencies and can cope well with low signal environments. This is particularly noticeable when driving a train, where others fall back from LTE to 3G or from 3G to Edge or even GSM, the OnePlus 5T will stay connected much longer. Thanks to AC Wi-Fi and 2x2 MIMO, the handset also delivers a very good performance in Wi-Fi networks. The reception quality even one floor below the router is still very good. The new Bluetooth 5.0 is also supported and the Bluetooth range is very good. NFC is also on board despite the full metal body and the antenna is located in the camera module. The GPS performance is excellent, signal strength and accuracy are very good and even in difficult situations a fix is achieved. For example on trains, where hardly any smartphones get a stable GPS fix, the OnePlus 5T performs just fine. The audio quality was still very convincing, although there is only a mono speaker, and the OnePlus 5T delivers a very loud sound with clear bass. The 3.5mm headphone jack is available and also delivers a very good audio sound output with high maximum volume. And the voice quality is convincing too, especially with voice over LTE, a crystal clear sound is achieved on both sides. The suppression of background noises also works very well thanks to three microphones. One of the biggest changes can be found in the main camera. The optical zoom has been removed. Instead, there is now a 20 megapixel secondary camera based on the Sony IMX376K with a large f1.7 aperture. The main sensor, which has the same aperture value, remains unchanged and nothing has changed with the front camera as well. According to OnePlus, the result should be a dramatically improved camera performance, and indeed, the OnePlus 5T delivers on that promise. The pictures not only look very good in terms of color, but also show a significantly improved sharpness and more detail than the predecessor. Pictures just seem more clear. Focus and shutter time are top-notch, there is no waiting time between pressing the shutter button and the finished image. The absence of double optical zoom is usually only noticeable in direct comparison. The addition of the information from both cameras ensures a sharp and detailed image without fractals despite using only digital zoom. Surprisingly, the zoom is still working well even at night. In low light, the shutter time remains very short. Nevertheless, the OnePlus 5T with its two cameras still captures a lot of light through the large aperture, creating sufficiently bright, sharp and largely noise-free images without any great risk of shakiness. The LED flash is bright enough and provides bright images even in larger rooms. However, the richness of detail does suffer a bit. Really great night photos can be taken in manual mode with a tripod. The OnePlus 5T takes comparatively little exposure time to get a lot of light out of the scenery. All the pictures you can see were shot with an exposure time between 0.5 and 2 seconds. For compression sakes, a Meizu Pro 7 Plus would require between 5 and 10 seconds of exposure time for the same shots. It is a pity that the front camera in the OnePlus 5T has not been improved. During daylight it produces useful results also in Full HD videos, but in twilight and at night it weakens noticeably and stays behind competitors like the Xiaomi Mi 6. 
In our opinion, the biggest highlight of the OnePlus 5T is to be found elsewhere. We are talking about portrait or bokeh mode here. On the OnePlus 5, it could only convince to a limited extent, but on the OnePlus 5T, it is the best bokeh mode of all dual camera phones we have tested so far. The bokeh effect not only has a nearly non-existent failure rate, but also handles almost any subject perfectly. Even at night, very complex objects in the foreground are accurately distinguished from the background. The results are almost always perfect bokeh photos, which you can only distinguish from a RDS LR camera when you look at them very closely. What the OnePlus 5T does here is simply awesome and amazes us again and again even after over a week of use. OnePlus is among the big players here. However, we cannot say whether Huawei is beaten for lack of comparatively well use. An iPhone, however, definitely will lose against the OnePlus 5T. Videos using the main camera can be recorded with up to 4K at 30fps. The quality of the videos is good and here too the quality of the 2x digital zoom is convincing. However, we find the too aggressive EIS to be annoying, which compensates even for violent shakes but often heavily distorts the image while doing so. It wouldn't be so bad if you could deactivate it, but you can. So let's hope that OnePlus will either implement an option to disable it in the future or weaken EIS somewhat. The sound quality of videos is good, but we would like to see a bit more differentiation between foreground and background noises. Often the ambient noise dominates. Despite the larger display, battery life has not changed dramatically. The OnePlus 5T brings its user reliable through the day, even during intense use. Thanks to Dash Charge, it's quickly charged again. Approximately one and a half hours are needed for a charge from 20 to 100%, and the first half is already filled after 20 minutes. Conclusion, the OnePlus 5T is clearly the smartphone that the OnePlus 5 should have been. Of course, the question is why they didn't launch it like that right away. Back in summer, it could have had the potential to seriously mix up the phone market. On the other hand, better late than never. The OnePlus 5T is definitely worth an upgrade from older OnePlus smartphone and DS that also includes the OnePlus 5. Get rid of that thing while you still get some bucks for it. No one will regret switching to the OnePlus 5T. No, the OnePlus 5T is not a total bargain, but in contrast to its predecessor, it is absolutely worth the money. And that's all for this video. A shop link and more information is located down in the video description. I was Christopher for CMM, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.